Maggie Adarian Pocock is one of the UK's top space scientists, has written over 20 books and even had a Barbie made of her. And like one in 10 people in the UK, Maggie's dyslexic, meaning she has difficulties with her reading and writing. Fraser, who is also dyslexic, went to meet her. Take a look. Action. Can you tell me about a time dyslex your dyslexia has helped you in your job? Ah, that's a really interesting question, because you're, you're dyslexic too. Yeah. Uh, one of my dyslexic skills is communication, because some information about sort of space and the universe is quite complicated, but dyslexia helps me translate that into something that people will hopefully find more understandable. There's all sorts of positive things that come out of my dyslexia, which I really love. How I explain it is just like, it's just thinking differently. I think um, dyslexia is misunderstood in lots and lots of different ways. Um, my daughter had a situation when she was at school the other day, and someone said, yes, um, yeah, Laurie, she's dyslexic. So someone said, hello, um, how are you? <laughs> so, I saw, so totally misunderstanding <laughs> what dyslexia is about. <laughs> And yes, the fact that you're good at maths. Um, I, I was good at maths and, and I really like science. And so I think it's just trying to help people to understand that, yeah, uh, we're, we're not dumb, uh, we're not silly, <laughs> we just think differently. I started secondary school in September. How do you think schools can help kids like me who fight the transition to a new school a little nerve-wracking? It seems quite daunting because rather than the teachers coming to you, suddenly you've got to go to the various classes. Yeah. What works for dyslexic kids works for all kids. And so sort of, uh, I don't know, signposting, um, sort of, you know, maybe giving kids a guided tour before they get to the school. Thank you so much for chatting to me, Maggie.